we asked 18,000 voters in 15 European countries. We showed them profiles of asylum seekers, always two at the same time, and asked them which asylum seeker they prefer and which one they wouldn't want to let in. We varied many characteristics of these asylum seekers across their deservingness and consistency of the asylum claim. We randomly varied their economic credentials. We also varied their language skills and their religion in order to figure out which of these attributes matter for European voters. What we find is that basically three things matter. Respondents prefer asylum seekers who are not an economic burden but contribute to the local economy, meaning they prefer doctors and teachers over people in low-skilled occupation or who were unemployed before coming over. When we show people profiles of asylum seekers who are Muslim versus Christian versus agnostic, there is li very little difference between those who are Christian or agnostic, but there is a hefty anti-Muslim bias. Muslim asylum seekers are about 11% less likely to be accepted than otherwise similar Christian asylum seekers. The third main factor that shapes these attitudes towards asylum seekers are humanitarian concerns. That is, people who fled war or are traumatized are more likely to be accepted by European voters than those who come over for economic reasons. When we subset the analysis by, you know, voters' age or gender or educational background, what we find is across all these different subsets, people's preferences over asylum seekers are remarkably similar.